throughout this whole process and as we continue to learn more it's going to get harder and harder. For Teresa Hallbuck's family as days go by it gets tougher to remain optimistic. They haven't found her body so and we we don't know if she's you know still alive or not. New developments. Well it definitely concerns, concerns us that they are finding more um, human evidence. The arrest of Stephen Avery. None of them have been cleared as suspects um, until they are I don't really have much to say about them. Hopefully, if he is involved, he'll cooperate with authorities. It all brings the family closer to answers. Here at Teresa's home, blue ribbons hang from the mailbox and trees, a sign the family has hope. We understand the realities of the situation. We understand all the possible outcomes that may have occurred. Um, but we're going to continue to pray and um, you know, hope for the best. So do Teresa's fellow parishioners at Sacred Heart Church in Sherwood. Oh, we need closure. Um, it's it's going to be easier for the family to sleep at, like, at night, at least to know where she is. Um, my thoughts are mainly in prayer, just hoping that the family holds up and that Teresa's found. We realize that we will see Teresa again, whether it's here on earth or up in heaven. Please, we, we beg you. We know she's out there. We just want to find her. They are desperate prayers from the family of Teresa Hallbuck. We need everybody's help. Please keep looking. People have been tremendous. Just can't say enough. Of At this candlelight vigil, their prayers echoed by hundreds in the community. I would certainly hope that she comes home and say that would be the best, most optimistic hope, and that her welfare, body and soul is looked after at this you know, critical time. Balloons of hope released into the sky by the volleyball players. A message to their coach. We're looking for you. We hope you're okay. And just, we're coming. We care about her so much. We miss her. We just want her to come home. We're offering her spirit up to the Lord right now, and hopefully he's watching out for her. In the darkness of the night, these candles illuminate loved ones' hopes. Teresa will be found safe. She was alive on Monday afternoon, and until we hear otherwise, that's what we're going to believe, that's what we're going to pray. And this perpetual candle will now burn here bright until Teresa is found. Please bring her home. That's all we want, just bring her home. Please, somebody find her. That's all we want. Kendra A. Strike, NBC 26, Sherwood.